I was a kid, I used to go fishing. My father was a avid striper fisherman. And um, he used to take me out, you know, wake me up at four o'clock in the morning <laughs> and drag me out of, you know, New York City and take me to Long Island and Jersey Shore and Staten Island. And we'd just fish for stripers. One of the reasons I moved up here from the city was obviously to paint the Hudson River and to get a big studio space. And I would just go out by the Hudson just to paint because it's such an amazing place to paint. And one day I was out there painting and I saw these guys fishing. And I was, you know, finishing up painting. And I walked over there and I asked them, hey, what are you guys fishing for? <laughs> they kind of looked at me strange and they said striped bass. I went home, I called my dad and I said, you know they catch stripers on the Hudson River? He was like, really? So the next day he came up and he met them and we started hanging out. And subsequent to that, I mean, for the last, I don't know, 10 or 12 years, every spring, I've been going, you know, to the Plum Point, you know, this spot and fishing with this group of guys and gals. And uh, for five weeks in the spring, from about end of April to last uh, of May or first week of June, there's a huge sort of spawning run for the striped bass. And the more and more I've gotten involved in it, the more and more I've looked into sort of the history of it and what the river really means to, um, you know, this area, you know, to, to generations of humanity that's basically lived in this river, you know, along these shores. The Hudson um, continues to offer up its bounty on many different levels. There's like a spiritual connection on some level that I have yet to try and figure out um, why this group of mostly men and some women sort of leave their daily lives for a period of five or six weeks. You know, they leave all of that in the parking lot and they walk down to the river's edge and they sort of commune with the river in a very deep kind of human way and um, they fish and they catch some really cool fish, but mostly it's to connect with each other on a really human kind of communal way that I think goes back millennium. It goes back to generations and generations, as long as there have been humans in this area. You know, Newburgh is, I guess, has been at a sort of a transition for what, 35 years now? <laughs> And it has to do with people like of all races and all economic backgrounds um, shedding all of that stuff about us and them, you know, those people, you know, just shedding all of that and coming together for a singular purpose, you know? And whether it's fishing on the Hudson or whatever the case may be, there's something um, intrinsically human and spiritual about this simple activity that is a great lesson. You know, you'll have like a stockbroker, a correction officer, an ex-con, you know, a retired guy. You'll have people from all different, they come from all different places, you know, race-wise, economic-wise, cultural-wise, and they all get along incredibly well. Um, I don't know what that is, but it's, for me, it's, it's a great lesson in, for some reason, I'd like to take like some people that have a lot of that stuff that they bring to the table, fear, you know, and trepidation about people, different people, and bring them down there and have them hang out for an afternoon and say, what's the problem? You know, um, we all joke and we all mess around and we all say this and that, but it's not um, much deeper than, than um, us all just being human with each other, you know? Beyond, you know, catching great fish and being in an amazing place like, you know, like the Hudson River at Plum Point and what that means to me as an artist, just going and painting there. Um, uh, it, it really says a lot or is a great lesson about what 
you know, Newberg could learn. If you are willing to shed some of that fear and meet each other as humans on a human level, there's lots of work to be done, you know? And it's, I think, all of that other stuff that gets in the way of people just rolling up their sleeves and coming up with new ideas and figuring out how to work together to get stuff done.